Okay, everybody, sorry, I'm having technical issues, but this is the real deal now. <laughs> Here I am. We're gonna make an amazing cocktail. Hi, Lissa, really good to see you. Thanks for the technical stuff. Okay, yay, there's everybody. Okay, people are joining. Welcome, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday shake up, everybody. Oh, so nice to see you guys. Hi, Karen, hi, Sharon. Hi, Kurt, Chris, <laughs> good to see you guys. Hey, everybody, welcome. Hey, up for Gabs, hi, hi. <laughs> hey, everybody, so nice to see you this week. This week is gonna be an amazing cocktail. How do I know? Because I already had one. <laughs> I just had to test the proportions. I had to do some quality assurance to, uh, to make sure. Hey, Jenna Cole, good to see you. Oh my gosh, yay. Thanks for joining. Woo woo, I agree. Up for grabs, hello. <laughs> good to see all you guys. Awesome, I'm just gonna check the time. I'll start exactly at four o'clock. I know, Jenna, we haven't met, but I feel like I know you already. I love your comments, I love your posts, I love your Insta, I love everything about you, and I can't wait to see you back at Hip Cooks. So, um, yeah, can't wait to meet you. I feel like we, we are gonna know each other already. Hey, Kirsten, thanks for joining us today. Uh, what's, what's the bigger pull, Kirsten, beer making or uh, cocktails? I know um, Kirsten was gonna share screens with me today, Kirsten of Hip Cooks LA, but she's got some um, beer brewing and a beer brewing session at her house right now as well. So um, it's nice to see you, Kirsten. Maybe you're, you're double fisting, you're doing both, cocktails and beer. Hi, Jesse. welcome aboard, good to see you. Hey, Bonnie, thanks for joining, and thank you so much for your donation to the Teacher Relief Fund. That's so appreciated. Good to see everybody. All right, it depends on the day. Today's a beer day. Oh, not till you make this cocktail. It's gonna be a cocktail day. I love this one. Hey everybody, nice to see you guys. All right, it's 4.01 by my clock. So it is La Hora de los Cocteles with Hip Cooks. I am Monica and I'm gonna take you through an amazing cocktail today. It's called the Cucumber Zinger. And then after our session, after we have a cocktail in hand, I'm gonna share screens with uh, Hip Cook's teacher and manager, L'Oreal. And she was with us last week as well. So if you guys have questions, feel free to just keep commenting for us. And then L'Oreal is gonna make a note of those. And then we'll have a nice chat session after uh, we have a cocktail in hand. So. Let's get down to it, shall we? Let's do a quick ingredients check. So let's have a look here at everything that I've got. Um, basically, if, uh, if it's green, it's in today. And we'll talk about that in just a second, that theme. But um, I have cucumbers today. This is called the cucumber zinger. So my cucumbers are Persian cucumbers. Uh, they have edible skins, they're amazing, they're so delicious. You can find them organically in so many markets right now, so that's great. Um, if you have an English cucumber, if you have a waxy cucumber, it doesn't matter, use your cuke. So this is a cucumber cocktail. It gets its refreshing flavor and delicious green color from whole cucumbers. That's right, Kirsten, go green, go girl, yep. The other thing then, if you, uh, if you like, I'm gonna go for a little sass today. I'm gonna put a jalapeno pepper in our cocktail. I want a little bit of spice and I want, you know, that, that, that cool cucumber can uh, talk to this spicy pepper and they're gonna really balance out beautifully. If it's green, it goes in. I got limes. So the sour in my cocktail today are gonna be limes. If you have lemons, great, use them instead. If you have grapefruit, use that. Whatever is a little bit sour, go ahead. But for me, it's green. Um, oh, here's a nice substitute. If you don't have any pepper, but you wanna give your cocktail a little extra nya, uh, you can use some fresh mint instead. So I'm not gonna use it in my cocktail today, but I thought I'd grab some from my garden. So here it is, and I'll show you when and where how to use that in your cocktail today, got it? And then uh, last but not least, I know, some gin. 
I picked the green bottle today because it's going in. Um, this is, once again, some new Riff gin. This is their bourbon barrel gin. So I really love it because it's really, um, it's more complex. It's a little bit, it's gin with uh, a very juniper forward note, which I love, but it's also um, aged in a bourbon barrel. So it has just that little bit more complexity, herbaceous flavor. It's a really nice, yummy gin. So thank you, Lewis family. They are the uh, owners of New Riff Gin, and they uh, make their gin in Kentucky, that's right. And uh, they've been, uh, they sent me a whole bunch of booze. So lucky New Riff, because they're kind of coming into almost all the cocktails we're making right now. Uh, and I love it, and you guys love it, or will love it, and it's great. So here are our green ingredients today. Why are we going green? Please everyone, send me green thoughts. Send hip cooks green thoughts. Uh, like so many people, um, our Paycheck Protection Program has not uh, been very protective. Uh, it hasn't come in. Our emergency loans are not coming in. We're just kind of hanging out here in limbo, limbo, limbo. Um, like so many other small businesses, I know. But uh, the wait is truly torturous and terrible. So we are hanging on to our employees as best we can. But um, I need to send some green energy out there in the world. I need to drink something green. I want to have lots of green. I want the green to come to me. I want the green to come to you. So today we're going to make it green, green, green. So, uh, so everybody, other ingredients that you need to have, ice, ice, baby. Um, in our cocktails that we've had for our previous Saturday shakedowns, you know how important it is to have your cocktail cold. So I got lots of ice here. I'm already gonna prime my cocktail shaker with it. And um, that's gonna be ready to make a nice cold cocktail for us. Uh, my cocktail glass is ready, um, almost. I'm gonna prime it. So I've been using um, our Hip Cooks King Cubes, because they're so nice and wonderful. They keep your cocktail cold for a long time without watering it down, hallelujah. So I'm gonna prime my cocktail glass with a King Cube and I am ready to go, oh yeah. So the first thing we're gonna need for this cocktail is going to be this bright green, bring it green, cucumber juice. So, lots of ways that you can get a bright green um, cucumber juice, and I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do it. If you have a food processor, right, with a fitted with a grating attachment, brr, 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 put your cucumbers in, and you get beautiful grated cucumber that you can use. Valid, valid. Um, if you wanna do it old school, I think I will show you that. Um, so, uh, you got a grater at home? I bet you do, I bet you do. And if you don't have one of these, I know my hip cook's got one of these. <laughs> so both tools work. So grab your whole cucumber, everything. And great baby great. And what's so awesome about this freshly grated cucumber, so again, it has the seed, it has the pith, it has the, it has this wonderful edible skin that has all these nutrients in there. You know, I like my cocktail to have dual purposes. Actually, this one's gonna have a triple purpose. It's gonna be a cocktail, it's gonna be delicious and do its job. It's gonna bring in green into my life. Um, and my cocktail is gonna be nutritious. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that, those are two cucumbers. I'm gonna go for a third, because why not? You can kind of see a little bit what's going on. Hey everybody who's just joining us. Hi Connie. Hey Rick. Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. We're making an amazing cocktail. <laughs> All right, so what I have going on here is this wonderful, delicious, grated cucumber, skin and all. Mm, and it smells fresh and fantastic. So what I'm gonna do with this guy is, with my loving hands, I'm gonna grab the cucumber, the grated cucumber, and I'm gonna squeeze. And you guys are checking out. Hey, Jen, good to see you, darling. Um, I'm gonna squeeze, and hi, Jackie. 
and I'm gonna get out all this fantastic cucumber juice because that's what's going in my cocktail. And this byproduct here, by the way, this grated cucumber, waste not, want not, ever, hip cooks, but especially now in quarantine days, this grated cucumber has so many delicious uses, so save it, save it, save it. I have been blogging like crazy, all my Hip Cooks fans know that, but uh, like every day practically there's a new recipe on the blog. So right after this class, yeah, probably tomorrow, I'm gonna have a cocktail. So probably tomorrow I'll post two recipes of what you can make with your byproduct here. Any guesses? I know Jessie already sent me her guess. She was like, I'm gonna make tzatziki. And I'm like, hell yeah, you are. And I'll post a really delicious hip cook style tzatziki. Uh, and another thing that I'm gonna make and post on our blog is a fantastic Persian cucumber soup. It's cucumber, yogurt, dill, hard boiled egg, raisin. It's so fantastic. I like eat it by the containers full whenever I make it. It's so wonderful. So um, I just photographed that already from my last cocktail. And, uh, and I will share that recipe tomorrow on the blog. So please guys, save your grated cucumber byproduct. Very important. Okay, excellent. So, I'm actually gonna grab a strainer. Maybe some of you guys already have your cucumber juice in advance because you're good little hip cooks, but um, not me. All right. And so here, here it is. Here's the bright green, everyone. Uh-huh. This is gonna make our cocktail really fresh and herbaceous. It plays so well with gin. It plays nicely with vodka too, but you know, we're gin people around here. So, um, so this will go into our cocktail. For, let's see, for your cocktail now, I'm gonna use about, let's see, the ratio is going to be um, half of cucumber to uh, another, another half. So, <laughs> Can I do math? Not right now. Here are two ounces, by the way. Let's go like that. <laughs> Let's do two ounces of uh, cucumber. So, um, so in it goes into my uh, cocktail shaker. Oh yeah. For two ounces of cocktail, I was actually thinking for me, I was gonna do one ounce of gin. Um, if you guys know, I have a pretty heavy hand. So let's see, <laughs> maybe there'll be a little more in there. Um, again, just like with all of our, oh, thanks. Yeah, I like my t-shirt too. <laughs> it's so LA, right? Um, so for, uh, <laughs> thank you for the compliment. For the, uh, for the gin or for when you, when you want to pour cocktails, um, if you're setting up your home bar and you have a lot of cocktails to make, having some pours is such a good idea. And again, I've been showing you guys this every week, but trust in your pours to know how many ounces are going into your cocktail. And how do you do that? By commitment, right? We don't pour like this, we pour like this. And, um, and so when you commit to your pour, begin counting. So I would do a one Mississippi count for one ounce. Ready? One Mississippi. Hell yeah. <laughs> There's my ounce mark on my, yep. So, and then it's me, so you know, yeah, all right. So, one ounce of, <laughs> of gin is going in, and then I'm going to equal that amount. Oh, you know what, I just screwed up. There we go, I'm just gonna put, put my um, cucumber juice in there too. And then I'm gonna do the same amount of lemon and or lime juice, yeah? So these are all the liquids that's going into my cocktail. If you have one of these citrus presses like I do, let me show you how I get the most out of it. So again, I'm looking for that four ounce mark. I'm almost there. So, so it'd be four, one, one. I mean, two, one, one, make four. Yes, good. Okay, so um, if you have one of these citrus presses like I do, how to get the most out of your citrus is I gave everybody a squeeze and then I double or even triple up on the spent um, halves and I oh, yield to me, yield to me. I get every last 
drop of juice out of here because I know that's also going to balance in my cocktail. So I've got the cool cucumber juice, the sour lime. What about the spice? All right. So here's the magic going on. I need a little more magic. What I have here is a jalapeno pepper. So I'll take, I don't know, it depends how spicy you like it. Seeds and all, I'm gonna take maybe four little bits of jalapeno. If you, if you run especially sensitive, just take one or two. If you love things super spicy, take a little bit more. Oh, Yvonne, I miss you too. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take the, um, the jalapeno here and put it in my cocktail base. If you don't have jalapeno today, don't cry, you can use mint instead. Mint, cucumber, lemon, gin, they all love each other. Um, you could even add both, but you know, I'm not gonna push it. Hey, Cynthia, put your cucumber pulp in the citrus squeezer. Um, yes, if you have, oh, that's a really good idea. Sin, maybe you're just joining us, but I wanna save the cucumber pulp for another recipe, so that's what I've done. But yeah, you can do that too. You can, in fact, or if you have a juice extractor. <laughs> yeah, you can do that as well. Nice, thanks for that. All right. Get your muddler and get your mud along. I've got a huge muddler here. It's for caipirinhas. I don't mess around. The rest of your family does not mess around. So we've got um, our muddled uh, chili pepper here already. Woo! It's, it, it would make my eyes water. Um, this could be mint. This could be both. Yeah, so I've got these cuties in here. Now I'm gonna add my combination of, let's see, mint from the garden? That's right, you do, you rock star. All right, so I've got cucumber, gin, and um, lime in here. I'm gonna add it to my beautiful green smushed uh, jalapeno peppers so that their essential oils are released and they're gonna flavor my cocktail. So now in it goes with my ice. But wait, I've been talking so long, I don't want to water down my own cocktail. There we go. I just offloaded any melted ice in the sink because, you know, I'm not crazy. All right, so in this goes. And you guys, you're going to shake, shake, shake your money makers. The longer the better. Give it a good shake. Make your, all your money dreams come true. <laughs> there we go. If you need to, a couple of quick taps to loosen. I have, uh -huh. I've got my handy dandy strainer right here. My prepared glass. Oh, you know what we never did is we never tasted. It's a good chance to taste and adjust your ratios if you need to. Mine is really good and spicy. Et voila, et cucumber, zinger. Cheers to you. May you be full of green. Let's be in the green. Keep it green. <laughs> All that good green stuff. Let's go, go, go. Mmm. It's fantastic, isn't it? Oh, it's so fresh and sassy. I love it. If you like, you could do a salt rim on the glass. You could even add a pinch of salt before you shake it up, if you like those flavors together. For me, I feel like there's already so much going on with the cucumber and the lime and the jalapeno. I just love it. But yeah, I can actually have a little bit of salt here because I was thinking about doing that. it both ways yeah all right yes cheers to you Kirsten it is delicious Jen I hope you're making a cocktail too and um, L'Oreal if you'd like to send me a uh, share screen request we can both go live and then we can start really answering your questions and getting a little bit of a conversation going so L'Oreal I'm gonna wait for you to join and let's see here there you go one second, everybody. Let me bring L'Oreal on with us. I know, it is delicious. Cheers. I think my hands are... <laughs> I'm 
my hands are full of cocktail and my phone is not letting me bring on L'Oreal. <laughs> Hello. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we'll wait for L'Oreal to join. I have cocktail fingers. Oh, you made the sage rush for Easter? I know. Uh, Jesse. Hey, Monica. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> They rush every day. Hey, cheers to you, L'Oreal. So good to see your beautiful smile. Absolutely. What cocktail do you have? Did you Are you making a different I, cocktail? No, I made a very similar one just without the cucumber. Instead, I um, I decided to just put um, some grapes because you said anything green. So go green, green grapes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do hear how our inventive and creative L'Oreal She's got <laughs> citrus and green grapes in her cocktail. Green grapes. You and then. <laughs> I love it. And you can so good. use those grapes in your blender and then run them through either your hands or through a cheesecloth. Um, so many things you can do there with those. So I love that. Oh, I miss you guys too. <laughs> oh, miss you too, Annie. <laughs> so many nice comments, guys. We we not all we can't wait to have you see you guys back in the studio and shake up cocktails too. So thanks, I guys. I just saw my sister chime in that she loved it. So thank you, Andy. <laughs> thanks for oh, awesome. today. I love so throughout my cocktail making were all the green hearts coming in. <laughs> so, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So, um, so L'Oreal, do you have any questions that we can tackle right now? Yeah, so we had a couple good, good questions, but I love the just go green, guys. If it's green, then it goes in. I love that from the beginning. So um, somebody was like, what about shishito peppers for the pepper? Oh, wonderful. What a nice idea. Um, the thing with shishito peppers is I think it's like every fifth or sixth one is spicy. But yeah. it doesn't mean that using, like, say, even a green bell pepper would give you beautiful mm. flavor. I think of it, of, like, then I'd call it like a gazpacho cocktail, like a green gazpacho cocktail. You say it, the Spanish jefe. My green gazpacho cocktail. And then it's, <laughs> and it's so great. So green pepper or green pepper or whatever pepper is perfect. Can you add some simple syrup? Oh, yes, you can. It's your house. Do what you want. But um, I would say, <laughs> to seriously answer your question, I just saw it come in um, uh, from uh, Milan, uh, is that uh, this cocktail isn't meant to be sweet. It's meant to be that er a very herbaceous, um, not sweet, more like sour and cucumbery flavor. But if you love a little bit of sweet in your cocktail, yeah, throw in a little bit of simple syrup. Awesome. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. This is great. So, That's right. Go better, Betty. It is great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that you mentioned the mint idea since that's a quick one, like running around your neighborhood to go find some mint. Someone also mentioned basil. I didn't have oh, either. So I used cilantro. Really great. Really great. So again, I didn't yeah. it, um, but I could. So, you know, again, if I grab my mint leaves, give them a quick little muddle to release their essential oils then pour in your liquid with your ice then shake shake it up and then be sure mine's already cold i'm just giving a quick little shake and then strain the straining is really important then especially for the mint because you want the flavor of the mint without getting like you know we love green do we really love it? mint in your teeth yep yeah. uh, so. You don't want that. You don't want mint in your teeth. <laughs> Thea parsley. underscore later. That could be good. Parsley, yeah, it could be really good. Yeah, parsley would be delicious in here. Mm -hmm. So there's like you can use so many herbs, and that's why again I just like I love gin because um, it's already like slightly you know herbaceous and juniper, and it complements with herbs so nicely. Vodka works too for your vodka people, but again, it's like, oh, it's such a nice pairing with gin. I have a question. You mentioned New Riff um, again, <laughs> and is there another gin that you like? Like, I'm a Hendrix fan too, um, yeah. but, um, new, but New Riff, I'm, you've got me so curious about New Riff. What, is there another gin that's your go-to? <laughs> 
when it's available, and some of my friends here on Instagram will appreciate it. Um, my friends uh, make some bathtub gin, Melody and Sati, they make a gin called Blind Tiger. Whenever it's available, we all scoop it up because it's so amazing. But I know, okay, we're talking to the masses here. So I would say that um, Hendrix is really fantastic. I even have, like, I've got, I've got the green bottle tank. I'm just looking at my liquor cabinet. Cabinet. I have some green bottle Tanqueray that's also really great. Yep, yep, yep. And I use that too. Um, coming from Portland, I got to give a nice plug to Aviation Gin, which is really delicious, but very, it's, it's very clean. So you're really going to have to like sample your gins a bit and just sample a little bit neat to see what you like. The one I picked today is really fantastic in this cocktail. You can see from the color even of this gin, yeah. it's not a clear white. It's like a yellow, yellowish mm -hmm. white. Um, yeah. and, uh, and again, that's because of the bourbon barrel aging, as well as lots of juniper notes in here. So it's a really like, mm, like um, you, you, could, you could sip this gin even just on its own. Oh, awesome, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Kirsten, Very good. she loves a uh, Weidler gin. Great. Yeah, Ventura Spirits is good. I know. I think we need to have a, a Hip Cooks managerial retreat. At I Boston. think we are in, the, we are like, we need to do a gym to a gin tour. <laughs> so, someone <laughs> give <laughs> <laughs> um, You probably know we've got a new cookbook coming out uh, as soon as we get some more grain in here. And that's going to be called A Sip and a Nibble. That's going to be uh, Hip Cooks cookbook number two and every page is going to have a cocktail on one side a full picture of a cocktail and a full picture of the nibble that it's paired with so when you don't want to cook but you just want to have a sip and a nibble it's going to be a great book to use then the recipes of course are on either side of the pages but it's going to be like full-on food porn and then recipes and it'll take you through the seasons of cocktails with nibbles so um, yeah so think of this as Primer. Can you give the ratios again, Monica? Uh, sure. <laughs> can I do math after a cocktail and a half? Yeah, I can. If you, if you, if you remember, I, I remember. If you don't remember, I remember. I did, I did two, for one cocktail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I did two yeah. ounces of cucumber juice, one ounce yep. of lime juice, and one yep. a little more of gin. And that's really nice. For, yes. Is that about right, L'Oreal? Yeah, so the one ounce of lime juice, guys, also was one whole lime that she squeezed. Oh, oh, was it? Nice. Yeah, um, one yeah. of my limes is really juicy. The other wasn't super juicy. But, oh, yeah, that's right. I did. No, no, I sorry, L'Oreal. I did uh, one and a half. Okay, one and a half. In fact, I did, I, but, did, I, I did two limes here, but, like, this lime is really a bad lime. Bad, bad lime. Bad lime. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But again, it really depends. And that's why sometimes with cocktails, you want to measure it out in ounces because okay. it's, it's like, I love in most of our hip cooks recipes, I love to say one lemon or one lime. Sometimes, you know, in, in, in food recipes, I keep it to amount in cocktails. Sometimes I go with ounces because you never really know like how much juice is really in there. Right. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Is any, did does any fruit go with gin? <laughs> what do you think? What's your answer? Like? I would say absolutely, yeah. Um, I would say try it. Anything. Well, of course. Also, okay, so uh, Jessica, um, one thing you can do is you can go back in our videos or go to the Hip Cooks blog. So it's blog.hipcooks.com. You'll see tons of cocktail recipes there. And in fact, earlier, the first quarantine cocktail I did was gin with grapefruit. And it was fantastic, right? That's, um, I, it's the, the good old greyhound, whether you use gin or vodka. Then, Jessica, I also made a Persian greyhound, which I absolutely love because that uses some, uh, a splash of rose water in there and is, is fantastic. But yeah, gin, gin goes with uh, all kinds of fruit. If you're thinking fruits like, um, like say strawberry as well, like uh, not just citrus, but, but things beyond citrus, um, yeah, it does. Gin goes with everything. <laughs> and you guys are also agreeing, nice. Yeah. Um, yep, yep, awesome.
Yeah, fruits and herbs and alcohol. I agree. So in fact, that's the really the theme of our cookbook. It's um, the new cookbook. The, the cocktails all really take place in the kitchen and use culinary ingredients, herbs, spices, fresh fresh herbs, uh, things that you would have in your kitchen that would make your, that enhance your bar, right? And that what makes a really fun cocktail. Yeah. Yep, you gotta check our blog. That's right. So go to blog.hipcooks.com and, uh, or hipcooks.com and click on our recipe blog. There are lots of ways to get there. And then once you're there, we have a whole series called Cooking Under Quarantine. So uh, please go there. It gives you lots of great cooking lessons on how to, how to survive quarantine, what are good things to make, how to store your food properly. So uh, yeah, go check it out and we'd love to see you there. Awesome. And you guys feel free to definitely comment, like those posts, make those things, share them with us. We can't wait to see what you're making at home as well. It is super exciting to see you guys recreating those recipes. Yep, yep. And so then uh, I'll give ourselves just one more push then before we before we uh, end our call today. So um, so keep us in the green. We've got a Venmo fund. So if you go to Venmo and you search under Hip Cooks, you'll be prompted to see our Teacher Relief Fund. And any donation really works for that fund. Five bucks, ten bucks, a hundred bucks. I've been seeing it all come in over the week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We don't have um, any funding from federal loan programs right now. And we have some part-time teachers that are all laid off and full-time staff that are still employed, so, um, but reducing their hours. So any bit of help that you'd like to give us would be so wonderful. Another resource that we have for you guys besides uh, uh, our blog is our live stream classes. And that's a wonderful way to connect with your friends and your community. So we are offering now um, live stream classes to groups of friends. So in fact, I'm starting my first one on Monday where they are gonna meet, this particular group is going to meet every Monday at 4 p.m. And I'm taking that group through six, like a series of six hour long classes. And so for the first class, we're making scallion pancakes, then we're gonna make pasta, we're gonna make chips, we're gonna make soup. And it's a really, just a really nice way to stay in contact with your friends and family, but uh, Hip Cooks will take you through what you wanna learn. This particular group is uh, families. So they're, they're uh, friends and families and neighbors that have kids. So we're inviting their kids along, but other groups, you know, you might have a group like a book club that you wanna stay in touch with and uh, bring me in. I'll teach a cocktail to you guys and then turn it away. You guys can Zoom as much as you like, but uh, I'll pop in and teach you guys a cocktail. So be in touch with us, hipcooks at hipcooks.com. And uh, we're delighted to kind of, to, to keep our communications flowing that way. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. Cool. Um, someone just asked, is there any other way to donate than Venmo? Ah, I just have a Venmo set up at the moment. I do also maybe have PayPal? PayPal. I have a PayPal, but it's my name. So that's a little weird. Yeah. It, it is for hip cooks, but it's under Monica at hipcooks.com. That's M O N I K A Monica at hipcooks.com. Feel free to PayPal and I'll see it and I'll respond to you. So um, that would be another great way too. good. We have another question. Oh, that was, that was it. Oh, and another yeah. thing you can do, guys, by the way, if you want to support Hip Cooks and yourself, it would be to buy a Hip Cooks gift certificate. You know, like a lot of the small businesses are doing right now, get yourself a Hip Cooks gift certificate. They never expire, not in one million years. And uh, you can gift yourself or your friends or family, but yourself, any amount. So $20, $30, $40, that keeps us in the green now and is money that you can actually use for yourself later. Um, I did put all classes, all gift certificates for full classes are on sale right now through Sunday, discounted uh, 15%, so it's a great time. Yay! <laughs> Thanks for the claps. Yep, you still have one? Well, go use it. Well, use it soon. Um, <laughs> we'll be here when everything is uh, back to normal, back to our new normal, yeah. Cool. Oh, that's right. Yep. They're, uh, not only do they never expire, my dear, but they are valid at any location. So PayPal or Venmo to the Teacher Relief Fund. That's right. Thanks, L'Oreal. 
All right, you guys. Yeah. Well, can I give you guys another last cheer? Do we have any lingering questions? Oh, you're almost done. <laughs> Face yourself, face yourself. <laughs> Perfect. So we're right on time. If there are any cocktails that you guys would like to see on our 4 p.m. Pacific time weekly sh Saturday shakedown, let me know. I've got a whole bunch of cocktails in the queue. I can't wait for next week. L'Oreal, you're going to love next week. That's all the plug I'm going to give you. But I get to make a cocktail and photograph it for, for Instagram. Oh, yeah, that's and beautiful. I drink one that's on fun. Saturdays. So, <laughs> so cheers to all your Thank you for all your hugs. Wonderful to see you guys. Thanks for joining us. Yay. Cheers. Good to see you. Thanks, guys. Stay <laughs>